Hello everyone, it's August 12th, 2020, and we are going to take a leap of faith here and harvest this sugar baby watermelon. So I've read online all the different things that you're supposed to check to see if this thing is ripe, and so one of the things you look for is this tendril, and that is dry. So that's a good sign. You can see over here, this other one, the tendril is green. So that's good. You can also hear the difference knocking on it versus this one. Now if you can hear that, that's a more hollow sound. There's no yellow on the bottom because it was laying in this dirt. So we're going to harvest it and just see what happens. So we'll take a pair of scissors. It's also the very first one. It's been about 75 days. So, let's give a snip. That's the bottom. And it does have some yellow on it. This spot here is where it was laying in the dirt. So we're going to take it inside and see if it is ripe. Let's hope so. Alright, so here's the moment of truth. We're going to cut it. Hopefully it should pop open and be nice and red inside. Oh, not bad. That looks pretty good, actually. Now, we've never grown watermelon before, so this is our very first watermelon. That actually looks really good. We're going to take a little taste. Just a sample. It smells amazing. It really does smell good. Look at that. Whoop. So, taste test time. Whoa, it is really good. So it turns out those tricks really do work. Knock on it, look for the brown tendril, and look for your days to harvest. This is about 75 days in. It is amazing. Well, thank you for watching, and if you're growing sugar baby or any other kind of watermelon, look for the tendril, listen for the sounds, knock you know, some immature melons and then some mature melons, and we hope you have uh, great luck.